Hello there guys, Josh James YT here and I've been requested by a YouTuber known as I Tried to Help to do a portable console collection video. Now I haven't got too much but I thought I'd do it anyway because I did say in my last video that if anyone requests a video I will do it and I'll put it on my channel and I'll give you a shout out. So Annabelle, I think your name is, here's your shout out, you're a great YouTuber, definitely check her out, link will be in the description and Thank you very much for um, shouting me out on your channel, that was really, really kind of you, I didn't ask for that or anything, and I, I, I made my day really, so yeah, thank you very much for that, and I've gained about 10 subs, so welcome to my channel, if you're new, um, if you haven't already subscribed, definitely do it, because you'll, you might enjoy my videos. So yeah, like I said, this video is going to be a collection video, I'm going to kind of talk a bit about the actual games, rather than just going, here's a game, here's a game. Um, I don't, I want to make it kind of a bit, you know, keep you entertained and talk about the games and if I like them or not and stuff like that. So, I'm going to begin with the actual consoles themselves, so let's get started with the video. So, for Nintendo Game Boy handhelds, here is the first ever handheld I've got. I featured it in a 20 Random Things video, which is, I'll link it in the description if you want to see it, check it out. And it's a Game Boy Advance SP. Now, I've got this, I, I don't know where the box is for it. Um, I got it when I was about six years old, and I loved it to bits. First ever actual console that I owned, although we did have a PlayStation 1, it was my mum and dad's, and I did get to play it, but it was one of those things where they gave me the controller, and I thought I was playing, but it wasn't actually plugged in, so it, it, I, I, sussed, I sussed it out eventually. But they got me this my sixth birthday, I, th I think it was six, and I played it so much. It's it's in top, it's in decent nick to be honest guys, it's not, no scratch on the screen at all, maybe a few scratches there, I don't know if you can see that, but it's really really good condition, so I'm really happy that I still have that, most people sell their stuff, but I like to keep things that I get for presents, I don't know why, but I feel a bit rude um, selling things like that. So for my Game Boy collection we've got Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase, these are unboxed by the way, I've got one box Game Boy game. So Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase, obviously a game I used to have when I was younger, I used to play it a lot. Spyro Season of Flame 2, which I used to love this game, completed it loads of times. Uh, it's a great game. Next game is Super Mario Advance. Now, I got this because my friend used to have, uh, it was one of the Super Mario games on the Game Boy. And it was like a, it was one of the bigger cartridges, like the, the Game Boy Color cartridges, not the advanced cartridges. And I really wanted the same game as him. And I asked my dad for a Mario game, and he got me this. And it was completely different to what my friend had. I was like, what the hell is this? It's a great game, but it's completely different to normal Mario. It doesn't, it, it feels like it's not made by the same people, if you get what I mean. It just, it doesn't feel the same, but it's a good game anyway. Next game, I featured it in my pickup video. Oh, not a pickup video, a um, room tour, the last video I did, and that's Hamtaro Ham Ham Heartbreak. Now, this game is, I think it's meant to be rare. I think it, it sells for like £50 on eBay, boxed and complete. Only got the cartridge though, because I, I, for some reason, I think I, I think I threw them out, the actual boxes when I was younger. I know, you, you guys are going to be mental, going mental like that, but I didn't keep the boxes, I don't know why. I should have done that, but that game's meant to be really rare. Next game I got quite recently from a YouTuber known as 2 to uk and it is Crash and Spyro Super Pack. Now the Spyro game is the one I just showed then, but the Crash game is Crash Nitro Kart. Now, I want to get the actual, it, it's like a, a Super Pack, kind of, it's not the actual Nitro Kart, it's like a joint game. So I, I want to get the actual official Nitro Kart box and complete, but this is a great game, I've been playing Nitro Kart a bit, and it's good, it's quite a good game, so... Thanks Tootie for that. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Don't know why. And the... Is it the final game I've got? The final game I've got for the Advance is Rayman 10th Anniversary. Now this isn't mine. My friend lent it me quite a while ago, about a year ago. And I've never given it him back. i played it about three times. Um, so it's not actually mine, but it's a good game anyway. Just classic Rayman really. What was it called? Rayman 10th Anniversary.
I think that has two games in it. I think it's like Rayman Original or something. Not too sure. They played about a year ago, so. And the only um, is this Game Boy Color. Only Game Boy Color game I have is Super Mario Land. Now, again, this is one of those games like Super Mario Advance. It doesn't feel like the, the normal. In fact, no, it does. But I think when you die on this one, you have to start all the way from the beginning. Not too sure why. But yeah, that's my Game Boy collection. Like I said, not too much, but let's get on to DS collection. Oh, and also, I've got a Game Boy Bo Advance box game, and that is, I also got it quite recently in a pickup video, and that's Crash Bandicoot XS. Now, this is fantastic, this game. One of my favourite Crash Bandicoot games, and it's actually on a handheld, so it's brilliant, it's really, really good. Uh, y you know, it's just a classic Crash, but it's 2D, which makes it really cool. And it works really well with the Game Boy, so I'm really happy to have that. It's one of the better Crash Bandicoot games. And is it made by Naughty Dog? No, it's not actually. It's made by Visions... No, Vi... <sighs> can't even say that. I'm sorry. It's not made by Naughty Dog, but it's still a great Crash Bandicoot game. So, PSP collection now. And I've got a PSP Slim 2000... No, 3000 model. Box and complete. Got it three years ago. Brilliant console. Took me about two months, and I got a bit bored of it, and it's a shame really because I quite enjoy playing it, but I just kind of lost interest because I wanted the PS3 instead. So I'll show you it now. Here is the little case I got for it. My mum said it was a, an official case, but it's just not. It's obviously not an official case, but it's still a good case anyway. It has like the um, the, I think you can see that it has like places to put your cartridge and cartridges and stuff. So here's the PSP, and what I love about this is it has no scratches on it, it's just, that's what kind of made me lose interest because it's just so fingerprint heavy, I, I don't know if you make, that makes any sense, but it it's really easy to get your fingerprints covered in this thing and it's really easy to get scratches on it, so I didn't really play it and as you can see I'm holding it like this when I used to play it, I used to play it so I didn't touch the back because I'm really really weird like stuff like this, I don't want to get any scratches on it or anything, no fingerprints, nothing and I tried getting those plastic cases, but they look horrible. I'm not being funny, they look absolutely disgusting. It just it makes it look really fat, and they already have scratches on them anyway. It makes it look really bad, so I don't like that at all. So, first game got about a year ago. I played this once, and that's after I unboxed it, and I got this in a pickup video, or I featured it in a pickup video, and it's Crash of the Titans. Now, I like Crash Bandicoot games, I want to collect them, but not on the PSP. I want to get them on PS2 and PS1, and any exclusive like um, the one on the Game Boy, I would get it up for Game Boy, but if the multi-platform, I'd get them for PS2 and PS1, so um, this is up for trade or sell or something if you want to buy it. Crash of the Titans, it's mint condition, boxing and complete. If you want to PM me, I'll sod out. Next game, love this game, it's so good. It's I would say it's better than the PS3 version, because I, this is the first game I actually played on the PSP. I, I, I loved it to bits, it was such a good game, and that's Little Big Planet. Now, it's not as advanced as the PS3 version, obviously it's a portable handheld, so it's not going to be as good, but I just, it feels better on a handheld. I don't know if you agree with me, but it just feels like it should be on a handheld, not a, a full-out console. It should be a handheld game, and that's, that's why I prefer it really, it just feels better on the, PS, on the PSP. Next game is Midnight Dub 3. Midnight Club 3, Dub Edition. That's Platinum. Great game. What I don't like about these games is when you crash your car, it doesn't actually make any damage to your car, which... I like it being realistic, so when you crash your car, when it's actually smashed, like the Burnout games, they're brilliant. But it's still a good game. I got this brand new for Christmas when I got the PSP, as well as Little Big Planet, and that was brand new as well. Second thing I got for the PSP, or not a second, um, is Borat, and that is not brand new or anything, it's just a little thing I bought from eBay. Watched it, loved it, bought the DVD, so I don't even need this anymore, but I've got it anyway, up for trade if you want it. It's not a trades video, by the way, this is like a, it's a collection video, not a trades, but if you want this to, for trade, PM me. Other thing I got is not complete, but I got, got it for Christmas as well, and it's Peter Jackson's King Kong. Now this... Massive mistake, I haven't even got it in the thing anymore. 
massive mistake I did with this, right? Got the game, and I thought the actual, I'll show you. This isn't the game. Right, so, this is Midnight Club Double Edition. And it is in this little thing here, this little plastic case. And there's a disc inside it. I thought you could open the plastic case. So, when I first got the, that game, when I first got the PSP, I opened, I tried to open the case and it broke and then it never worked, so... But yeah, I've heard it's not a great game anyway, so it doesn't really matter. If it is, let me know. Assassin's Creed Bloodlines is another game I got, which I got quite recently. In fact, not Christmas this year, or last year, sorry. Christmas year before, and I completed this game, it's a brilliant game. Um, what can I say about it? Very repetitive. Graphics aren't as good as PS3, obviously. But it's it's really good, it works really well on the PSP, so I'll, I'll, I'm keeping this game. Next game, Call of Duty Road to Victory, completed it as well. Shooters don't really work on PSP. I think everyone can agree with that. Just Shooters do not work. It, you know, you, you don't have an extra analog stick, so it makes it really hard. But it's they use it. They try and make the controls as easy as possible. But again, I wouldn't ever buy shooters on PS on PSP apart from Medal of Honor Heroes. Although it, the controls are the same, I just I have great memories of that. Although I sold it, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. What the hell is wrong with me? I might have to introduce my sponsored by drink, and that is Coke Zero. Again, I'm stealing people's videos. Well in 37. Don't drink beer. You have to drink a big bottle of Coke. <sighs> Love Coke. Not the drug, no, that's bad. Right, so PSP collection is finished. Now I've got um, DS collection, so I'll show you my DS consoles. DS Lite, which I absolutely love. It's our... Oh, Amazing. Got it about five years ago. This is amazing. I, I don't know. It's probably the best handheld of all time. Um, it's not the most advanced, but it's just... It, it was such an improvement from like all the other handhelds. And even though the PSP was better graphic-wise, it just did everything better. Nintendo generally make better handhelds. And I don't know, it's just a feel. It's better. It... <sighs> Sony can never really get it right with handhelds, and I think it's safe to say that people will agree with me that. Although you'll get some die-hard Sony fans saying PSP is better, PS Vita is better. Yeah, graphics are better, but the actual gameplay and the actual games are not better. The actual content is not better, which makes the console not as good, <clears throat> if you get what I mean. So yeah, got this game, got this console for Animal Crossing because I played it with my friends. A long, long time ago, and that just it, I fell in love with that game. Wanted this just for Animal Crossing, and I got it. Played it for about two weeks straight. Did not turn it off uh, when I got it for Christmas, and I just loved it. Ah, oh, great game, and I'm gonna get Animal Crossing this year. So DS games. I got this for Christmas when I got the DS originally. Nintendo DS browser. Now I've never really used it. It's just one of those things your parents get for you, and you don't really, you never ask for it. It's, it, I used it about twice, then I forgot my password so I could never get on it ever again, so... Damn it. Although I don't really care because the internet's crap on this. Right, I'm going to have to rush because this video's got 4 minutes left, so... Hurry up, James. 24 minutes left on the camera, so... DS Games, Bomberman. Animal Crossing, brilliant game. This is a brilliant game as well, actually. Didn't really know it when I got it, but I found out it's such a good game. Next game, Super Mario Bros, which is fantastic. I love the Mario games. First proper Mario game I owned, and it was such a good game. Hence why I've got the new one now. That was a spoiler alert. More brain training. Now my mum's... I don't know why she got me this. I'm quite smart anyway, so... Don't know why I needed this. I'm, I'm pro at everything on this game, you know. And that's it for DS games. Now, three DS games. Here is my 3DS in a sock because I really I'm quite OCD with scratches, so it's in a case and a sock. That's how weird I am. Here's the 3DS, mint condition, uh, no scratches again. Still no scratches, going strong. And I've got two games for it, which I need to get some more 3DS games, but 
I don't know, I haven't really found any games that I really, really want. So I'm thinking of getting Street Fighter actually because of a pickup I got a few days ago, which will be featured in another video. So stay tuned. But the the 3DS games that I've got is Resident Evil: The Mercenaries 3D. I showed these on pickup videos, but you might want to see them anyway. And the final game I got, where is it gone? Oh, there it is. Super Mario Bros. 2. I got this for Christmas, and what a game! It's it's very very similar to the other one, but it continues the awesomeness of the Mario franchise. Even if it is the same, who cares? I like the same. Brilliant game. And that's it for my gaming collection. Again, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any more requests, definitely let me know. Thank you to all the new subscribers, and I'm sorry for the long video. I don't normally do long videos, but thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.